Hello all, welcome once again to Walking the Candy Isle. Uh, Gung Hei Fat Choi, I'm Jeff, and uh, Happy New Year. Uh, Happy Chinese New Year. Actually, this is a little late on Chinese New Year. Um, I'm recording this and it's actually almost March of, uh, of 2014, so this is... Uh, it's a little late, but I was in the in the Target today, and I ran across this in uh, in the discounted. I was actually looking at the discounted Valentine's stuff, and uh, and this was just sort of mixed in there. And I guess I don't know. I just thought I'd pick it up because it was on. Uh, I think I got this whole pack for a dollar. Pretty good, since I'm expecting this is a pack of eight Kit Kat uh, two fingers each, right? So. 16 fingers of Kit Kats for a dollar, maybe it was two, but uh, this is nice. I like this Kit Kat Orange. I'm excited to review this because um, I haven't done a ton of different SKUs of Kit Kats, but there's so many out there. Um, and, you know, I, I, uh, I can't have a break, have a Kit Kat. Happy New Year 2014, that's nice. I can't blame Kit Kat. This is, uh, this is a, you know... It's just the original regular Kit Kat orange um, that you find in some places in some, you know, regions. But then with this extra sleeve on top that just says Happy New Year on it, which is nice. Um, 2014, Year of the Horse, which is nice. I'm actually a Year of the Horse myself. So, nice to see that. Um, I like it. It's good uh, plays to the market, I guess. Um, at least here in, uh, I live in uh, sort of near the, in the Toronto area. So there is, you know, a large uh, audience for that especially. And uh, yeah, good times. So let's get into this. Aha! As I expected. More uh, Kit Kat goodness. With just a little Kit Kat orange. Recently I reviewed the Kit Kat Milk and White, which was exactly the same sort of format of packaging from Nestle. Um, the, uh, the ribbon on the outside of uh, foil packaging. Very old school, you know, the regular Kit Kat fingers now are Kit Kat, five finger Kit Kats come in uh, in like that, um, in the, that, the newer packaging. Companies have really moved away from this um, foil stuff in America, but I always liked it, um, so let's see what we got here, there is the Kit Kat orange, get that out of there, whoa, and immediately I can smell, very orange, very, it smells like orange and chocolate, that's a good sign. Um, of course, just the two fingers of Kit Kat here. Does it look thinner? I don't know. I kind of felt like that white and milk one looked thinner than Kit Kats normally are. I wonder if they whoa, just started producing these thinner. I dropped. That's okay. Got it now. So it broke. But uh, what should I, what should we expect here? Do you think? Um, just orange cream or orange and chocolate cream? My guess is orange and chocolate, since orange and chocolate is such a good mix in general. People are pretty used to that. So let's give it a shot, eh? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Um, great. Classic Kit Kat wafers. You know, it's funny. The wafers really bring the Kit Kat, Kit Kat together. Um, unlike the Chunkies, which I love Kit Kat Chunkies, but um, where it's so much more about the chocolate. Um, these, like the standard Kit Kats, I think that the wafer is the really defining sort of quality to them because the chocolate's pretty good. Um, and in this case, the orange sort of infusion is is definitely nice. I like it. It is a good combo, as you'd expect, really. I mean, you know, it's nothing too surprising here. Chocolate and orange go well together. I think we know that by now. And if you don't, you try some chocolate and orange. Like, you can literally just get a piece of chocolate and 
put it in the same mouthful as an orange and uh, you'll you'll realize what we're talking about here but um the uh, the wafers in in the regular small just you know small kit cat are um are great they it's like it's like that's the the binding element not literally but figuratively that sort of contextualizes the entire um the entire bite so i got to say kit kat orange very very good i'm sure i've had this before but i can't remember i can't remember when i i expect i have I'll tell you what, if you think you might like Kit Kat Orange, you will. This is not unexpected. It's, um, it's good. It's just solid. It's, it's, it's good. And, um, the, uh, the orange is not overbearing by any means. Um, but it's certainly there. So, if you like orange and chocolate... Kit Kat Orange is a way to go. I hope you can find it in your region. Who knows, you know, these things are so localized and so um, limited times for this one, of course, is this one is even branded with the, um, you know, Happy Happy Chinese New Year. So I can't imagine you're going to necessarily see this exact skew around, but keep your eyes open. If you do see Kit Kat Orange, I'd recommend you try it. It's pretty good. Um, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate Kit Kat Orange a very solid 4 out of 5. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like this review, please click the links that you see on the screen. Um, I'm always doing new reviews, so new stuff's always coming up. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Later.